here again. I want to share four or five pictures with you today. I like calling them pictures instead of paintings. We're outside here, so you might hear a bit of background noise. But anyways, this one here is uh, a fellow took this photograph of me a few years ago. And uh, one day I was looking at it and I wanted to make it look better. So I used Photoshop. So I added a little purple tint to the uh, picture and it looked fine. But I decided to experiment, so I hit a button that made the photo into a saran wrap. Um, so that's uh, me as a drummer, as you can see the drumsticks. I play the drums from time to time. And uh, it, it created a very wild effect. And uh, I had to reduce it, reduce the effect, and I got this. And that's a print on canvas. So uh, it's not an actual painting. But I, I kind of like it, and I can make it into any size I like. So that's that. And uh, sometimes I find uh, objects on the street that I might use in some of my prints later, or for something else. This was just found a few minutes ago. make a good print later. So here we are with a print from a while ago. It's been framed and it's already been in a show at the Lost and Found Cafe. That's a cafe on East Hastings Street in the heart of the downtown east side in Vancouver. And they cater to the local artists and one psychiatrist has got his base there for presenting artists that he has in a circle there. So I was finally invited to be part of that. This is uh, several layers of pink, green. And it always helps to mat and frame a work it emphasizes the image even more, so I recommend it. And even if you don't frame it, because framing is expensive, it's always nice to have a mat. And once you've got a mat, you may want to put a plastic coating to go with it. But this one's called She Dance, and just reminds me of a dancer joyfully prancing around. So we always wonder whether these prints are done or not. This one of them looks like a bear here. One's quite abstract. I hadn't done much with that one. And uh, the one is on the gray tissue kind of paper that you get at the dollar store. I caught somebody trying to throw away that dollar store paper because some glass had been wrapped in it and I saw the potential for a print. So. This one with the yellow and black and the printing on it is one I made to help promote my friend Stan Hudak's uh, piano playing at the local bar. And I had to practically fight to get that up on the wall. And of course, hoping to get paid, but there was about 0% chance of that. Uh, local business is pretty cheap to pay artists for anything. Plus they hadn't asked for it. But it was my first attempt at uh, Adobe Illustrator and the images represent a piano and so forth. I, I was quite happy with it. They say you got to be happy with your work before you can show it out. No, you don't have to be. That's a bit of inspiration in the background there. Some of mine, some of some other people. I guess... Uh, 
this is episode number two. I'm just going through some of my artwork to see what I could show to the public. As you saw earlier, I have quite a few books. That was the poetry section, as I used to aim to become a poet, which I eventually did. And I have a website for that as well, and it's poemtree6.wordpress.com. You can Google Poem Tree 6 with the number 6 at the end of that word, Poem Tree, and you'll probably find my poetry site, which also has a link to my art site somewhere there. So I hope you have a good week, and uh, I'll see you next time. Here's me after I've been out in the cold for a few hours, like maybe about five, gallivanting around, meeting people. I think the cold agrees with me.